the Bible is a lie? What are you talking about, Ripsy? I thought you were reformed and Calvinistic and you believed in the inerrancy of Scripture and the inspiration of Scripture. Well, I do. And so in this video, I am going to give you three reasons to trust the Bible and flip it to show, yeah, the Bible is a lie. What do you mean? Stay tuned. Let's jump into this and find out. Number one, the Bible is living. It is living for the word of God is living. It's active. It's Literally the breath of God. It's it's inspired. So the Bible is living. There is there is Zoe life in this book. You can trust the Bible. You can trust God's word. It's living, it's not a dead book, it's not a boring book book. It's the bestseller of all time. The number one bestseller of all time. So the Bible in Hebrews chapter 4, it says that the word of God is living. It's the source of our spiritual growth. It's not just a collection of old stories and myths. The Bible has inherent life and power. Your preacher, your pastor, your teacher does not make the Bible come alive. The Bible is alive, and the Bible gives life to the preacher, to the pastor, to anyone who will receive it with faith. It's alive, it's active. The Bible is also inspired. It is thea nustas. It is God breathed. It is the very breath of God on pages. It's profitable. It's essential for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. It's God breathe through the Holy Spirit. As you breathe in and breathe out and feel the air coming from your mouth, your lungs, that is what the Bible is. It is inspired. It is the very breath of God on these pages. And lastly, the word of God is eternal. It is eternal forever, O oh Lord, or forever, Yahweh. Your word stands firm. It is settled in heaven. God said it, that settles it. So even after every book is destroyed, the authors are gone, the Bible is eternal. God's word is forever settled in heaven. God's word is eternal because God is eternal. He is eternal. He does not die. He cannot die. He is ever living. So the word of God is eternal eternal. It stands firm. It is settled. It's not going anywhere. You can put your life on it. You can put your faith on it. It's dependable. It's reliable. It's not going anywhere. So you as a believer, as a new Christian, an old Christian, can take hope, take faith in this book that you're reading is it's living, it's inspired, it's eternal. It's the very breath of God.
It's what our faith is based in, is rooted in. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So if you're interested in learning more about God's word, click at the top of the screen. There's going to be a playlist there that will take you to more teachings and more videos that will build your faith on God's word. It will teach you how to study God's word. This is Rev C. God bless you. God keep you.